Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex with GuitarForce.com. This is a lesson on how to play Plush by Stone Temple Pilots, in case you haven't learned it so far. I mean, you should have by now, because it's probably the most known song by STP. But anyway, if you didn't get a chance, well, here it is. Um, this song is pretty straightforward, you know, uh, not too complicated, but it's a lot of fun to play it. Uh, the guitar backing track, the backing track for the guitar and the tablature are going to be available at guitarforce.com for free. And while you are there, you can check out the store section where you can pick up a product and that way support me and at the same time get some quality information. All right, back to the lesson. This song is in standard tuning, so no need to change anything. Uh, also, I'm going to post a link to the cover of this song if you're interested, you know, to see the structure wise and all the other stuff. I'm going to post a link on the screen. Uh, and without further ado, let's take a listen to the intro part and uh, then we'll come back close up and start the lesson. Let's check it out. Alright, so for the intro part we have three chords, starts off with G, then the next set of chords is going to be played mostly on the uh, high three strings, E, B and G. Uh, so the next chord is going to be uh, G diminished, looks like this. So we have on the high E and the G strings third fret, and then on the B we fret the second fret. Next chord is A minor looks like this. On G we have 2nd fret, on B 1st and high E 3rd. And then we play again open G chord. So G and B strings open, high E on the 3rd fret. Then we have a chromatic build up. So we're holding the, the uh, high string on the 3rd fret and at the same time we play B strings, B string open and then 1st fret, 2nd fret and then we slide into the 3rd fret on the B string and we are back to the uh, G chord so again from the top slowly goes like this the first chord you can play all of it Okay, so nothing too complicated. The next part is verses and it sounds like this. Okay, so for the verses we have five chords, start off with G, then we go to D, but we put an F sharp at the uh, second fret of low E string. So this is an, an inversion of uh, D chord, first inversion, the third in the bass. Uh, then we have an F chord, standard F. Then we have C in the first inversion, looks like this. First inversion means that we again put the third in the bass. So if we have our C standard chord right here at the fifth uh, string root note, all we do is shift uh, the uh, first finger right here, still fretting the same notes on the fifth fret. Uh, the uh, D, G and the B string and then we place our finger right here on the E note on the A string okay and the last chord is gonna be E flat major 7 looks like this so here we put on A string 6th fret then on the D string 5th and then on the G and the B strings 3rd fret 
Now rhythmically it goes like this. Each of these chords is played <coughs> twice in the beginning and then in between the chords we have muted strings. So it goes like this slowly. Okay, so when we get to the E flat major 7, we play it twice. And then right before we start the sequence again, we play the F chord. So this is like a transition from uh, F to G again. So one more time, slowly. Okay, now we go into pre-chorus and it sounds like this. Alright, so in the pre-chorus we have four chords. First off we start with uh, D. But we put an A in the bass, the open uh, A string. So this is uh, uh, the D chord second inversion. We put the fifth in the bass. Then we go um, play the C add nine. Looks like this. So basically our third finger stays uh, on the B string third fret all the time. So and we just change the rest of the uh, of the of the fingers so we go C at 9 looks like this you can either mute the D string and just play the A G and uh, the B strings or you can play the open D as well I kind of prefer to mute it now now the next chord is gonna be it's a G chord but with B in the bass now. So all we do is just move our uh, first finger into the second fret of the A string. And then we're back to C add 9. And then there is a little run in the end which is on the A string going 2, 3 open. So rhythmically if we play only the chords it goes like this. Now you can uh, arpeggiate kind of the chords, but stay rhythmically correct when you have to change the notes. So I would play something like this. Alright, so this is pre-chorus. Next part is the chorus and it sounds like this. So in the chorus we have two chords being played for one bar each and uh, the chords are E flat major 7 and the F. Now rhythmically sounds like this. So as you can see again, we, we play kind of the same pattern as we did in verses. So we start off the bar with uh, two eighth notes of the chord, then we have the muted strings, then we play again the same chord twice, again muted strings, and then we changed, then we changed for, um, to another chord, playing, play the same structure uh, on the second chord. 
and we go between the two cores for the cores. So basically that's it, nothing more to say here. The next part is the bridge and it sounds like this. Okay, so for the bridge section we have again five chords. It goes like this, we, we start off with G5. And now we play kind of, uh, you know, heavy rock. Uh, eighth notes, or sixteenth notes, I'm sorry. You can palm mute it a little bit as well. Then we go, so we start off with G. Then we go to F. Then we play a very interesting uh, chord which is just two notes and it's a C but we play also an open E okay so this is gonna be uh, technically first inversion again of the C chord but we play C note right here on the A string and then the low E is open and then we have so slide from D to E flat and then back from E flat to D again playing the power chord so uh, rhythmically goes like this Alright, so as you can see, uh, we're playing 16th note, like I said, and then we go from C, from G, very fast to F. So there is like little stops, you know, you can uh, listen to the original track for the uh, for the rhythm rhythmical pattern, you know, and just follow the drums and the bass. They give you uh, a cue. So, one more time. Alright, so during the bridge there is also a second guitar which is playing kind of clean uh, melody, you know, clean guitar melody. And uh, I wouldn't say it's, uh, you know, um, a an essential part of the song. Although, I mean, if you're playing two guitars, of course, you know, you would go with guitar number one. But if you have two guitars, for example, uh, you know, you can uh, add this uh, little melody, uh, you know, so you have two parts of the, of this, of the guitars. And uh, I'm not going to explain each note by note. Uh, you will see it in the tablature. I will just play through, you know, really slowly. It's a two-part... Uh, section slowly goes like this. guys that was it thanks a lot for checking out this lesson if you like the video please hit the like button also comment share subscribe if you're new to my channel don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar related stuff in the meantime take it easy i'll see you again and as always let the force be with you